Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how I made this edit right here. It's pretty easy to follow, I'll be guiding you through the whole thing, so hopefully you can make something similar. Make sure to like and subscribe, it does help me to know if you guys like this type of content or not, but yeah, let's get into it. So what you guys want to do is open up Photoshop, have a picture of a person, a person's face, in this case I have a picture of myself. Get some images of fire, you can google these, find these, these fire images. So in this case what we're doing is we're putting the fire images over our eyes. We're changing the the mode, the screen mode to a linear dodge. I feel like that works best in this situation. And then I use the warp tool to warp the, the fire and um, adjust it to my face. Just experiment with all these tools and see what works and see what doesn't with your image. And, and yeah, after you've done with the warping and stuff and you're, you feel like everything looks fine you can mask away the bits that you don't like and keep in the bits that you do like uh, just make it look like the fire is in your eyes what I do then is to make the fire stand out a bit more I darken the eyes a bit so what I do with a brush tool is um, color my eyes black and then set the opacity down a bit, a bit more realistic I guess uh, fire is really hard to edit so I don't know what I'm doing myself I just go along with the flow um, if it look looks kind of good, then I just go with it, and uh, yeah, you know, the results. You can get brushes for smoke on Brush Easy. That's the website I use, and you can get different types of brush presets. What I do is I put the smoke on top of the eyes, and then I like to play around with it, rotate it, see what works, mask some bits out, make the opacity less on some bits. Basically make it like it's fading away into the distance, just to give it more of that realism. Add some blur to the smoke. So once you're happy with the smoke and the fire, that's pretty much most of your edit. That's literally all you need. Um, you're just missing some small bits. Um, I'll show you how to do them now. I've downloaded some veins, PNG. Uh, for my neck, I thought it would be a great addition. It's whatever you you feel happy with, you can add. You know, you can add a tattoo to your face for all I care. You can do whatever. I mask it out, and then I put the opacity down, just so that it's not like straight in your face, but you can still kind of see it. We're gonna add a bit of glow, and pretty easy. You just get your brush too. Make sure it's on the soft brush. Pick a decent size. Just paint the face orange, really. Just paint the f uh, paint the eyes orange. Paint the neck orange a bit. Don't make it too harsh. Uh, put down the opacity if you have to. Just give it that small bit of a tint. So I think the only thing I'm missing now are the fire embers. So I add those in. Uh, once again, I found an image of some fire. I set the 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 mode to screen. I think. And then I just masked away the bits that I didn't want and you're left with little fire embers at the end of the flames. Yeah, that's literally all you have to do on Photoshop. That is everything. That You are done with your composition. You are done. You are done. This is where we turn and edit and make it look good. Make it look nice. Uh, we do that with the power of Lightroom. Lightroom is what I use for color grading. You can do color grading in um, Photoshop and stuff but uh, it's just the way I work and it's my personal preference. Um, I export the file as LZW, I do that for all my Photoshop files. And then bring it into Lightroom. And you can spend so long just experimenting, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work, playing with all the colors, the shadows, the exposure. Once you're in there you can see you have a lot of presets. I have uh, presets of my own, uh, but I'm just gonna show you what um, I ended up doing. What I have here are the settings that I used um, for the exposure, the contrast, the highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, and stuff like that. Essentially what I'm doing here though is I'm making the image darker, get some radial filters and put them over my eyes and just brighten them. Set the exposure up a bit just to give that glow feeling like the, like the eyes are giving off some light which is what they're supposed to do if your eyes are on fire. I go in with a small brush over the veins and I set the exposure to the max and just color it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just darken the image, brighten up your eyes and uh, the neck bits just for a bit of detail and you're pretty much done. You can play around with more like gradients and stuff, see what works, see what doesn't. 
Um, that's what I ended up doing. I just play around with all the colors. I also add in a bit of orange glow to the collar of my hoodie. Just to give it that sense that my neck is emitting a bit of light as well. Because um, why not? Why not, you know? The more detail, the better. The more detail, the better. You can go with this edit any way you want. See what works for you, see what doesn't. It's all about experimenting. I don't believe that there's a certain way to do certain things. You might have a different style, a different look, a different like color grade to things. Everyone's different. Um, but yeah, here's my final edit. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.